Hello and welcome to Photoshop for Beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you some simple cropping and photo retouching techniques that you can use that go a long way in your projects. Here you can see I have a photo of a model that has a few blemishes and imperfections to say the least. Now the very first thing we'll want to do is right click and duplicate this background layer so that we're not modifying the original layer. We're modifying a copy and we can just hide that layer. It's not important. And what we're going to do is click on this magnifying glass. We want to remove these blemishes. So we're going to zoom in to the area that is in question and that's good. And we're going to use this tool called the Spot Healing Brush Tool. And this tool is fantastic. Once we click on this tool, we can modify the size of our brush by just clicking here. And this is the size of our brush. So I'm going to make this right around five pixels, I think is a good, a good size. And I'm going to make sure I have this content aware uh, checked. And I'm going to just simply boop, boop, boop. I'm going to draw right over that and look at that. It disappears. I'm not doing anything special. I haven't done anything. That's, it's that simple. And so I'm, I'm really just going to draw over all of the areas that I'd like to disappear. And what that does, is it takes the surrounding colors and pixels and basically merges it with the area that you're painting. And so I'm going to just use this spot healing brush tool to remove all these blemishes. Now, I also want to point out this clone stamp tool. The clone stamp tool is also pretty cool and great. We can select it, we can hold alt on our keyboard and we're basically going to select the area that we want to use to be copied over here. So I'm going to select this area right here and click on it and then I'm going to now draw and you'll see that there's a plus sign and it's taking the pixels from the plus sign and putting them where my brush is, where the circle is. And it's just basically moving those pixels over and that works as well it just doesn't always work it just it might not always be the best solution so I wanted to point both of those tools out when you're doing your photo retouching last but not least I figured I would mention it and that's this smudge tool the smudge tool also can work as a nice tool to remove blemishes or use the pixels or colors nearby to hide or cover up other things like blemishes. So I have the smudge tool enabled. I have a 50% strength, which is right in the middle out of 100. And I'll just drag the colors over here to cover up that black. So as you can see, it, it works. And I'm sure I could sit here and get it to fully cover up. But the reason why I don't like that tool as much is because it kind of blurs the pixels a little bit and it just simply doesn't work as well as the spot healing brush tool which works extremely easily and well. So if we make any mistakes and we want to go back we can file or I'm sorry edit and we can click on undo control Z but we can also go to edit and we can just keep going a step backwards alt control Z so alt control Z and we can just keep going a step backward. And so that can kind of save us if we make just, you know, any colossal mistakes. We can just go back. So let's go back and let's use the spot healing brush tool. And let's just do what we know how to do and remove that blemish. And when you're finished, you'll see that it's almost as if those blemishes were never there to begin with. Um, I'm having a little bit of a challenge there, so actually I'm going to use the clone stamp. I'm just going to take that little bit and just copy that. And so that's, that's it. You can't really tell that those blemishes were ever there to begin with. So that's really it. I just wanted to point out those tools to you. Now, let's enhance this photo a little bit. Let's add some effects. Let's remove this white background first and foremost because the effects that we're going to apply we don't want to apply them to the background the white background so I'm going to use this magic wand tool and I'm going to set the tolerance to 50 and I'm going to just click on the white and hit the delete key on my keyboard and I'm going to click on this white and delete that click on this white and delete that and so now we're left with just this image of 
this girl. So now we can click on Image, Adjustments, and you can do this with any image. And let's just start with Brightness and Contrast. And we can just modify the Brightness and Contrast just a little bit after the fact. And this is just great. We can just make the photo pop a little bit. Um, you know, this is just to show you some of the examples for enhancing photos. Now let's go to Image Adjustments. Let's click on Exposure and let's just modify this exposure a little bit. Um, let's just get crazy with it. And that's looking wild. I know people are going to say, hey, you ruined that photo. But this is really just to show you an example of these different types of uh, filters and techniques. So Vibrance is also a great one. We can just kind of add a little bit there and we can go to image adjustments. Now I don't recommend using all of these things at once but I definitely recommend just going through this list. You know just try each one of these you know back and forth and just see see which ones work for you and which ones you like the most. Um, I think you'll find some really cool stuff in there. So that's how you retouch a photo and that's how you enhance a photo and add some effects and maybe just make that photo pop a little bit more than it was. Now let's crop it a little bit and we will select this crop tool and we're just going to click and drag and we're going to crop this a little bit better than it is right now and I'll just kind of do this and we'll just crop it and we'll click on enter and now we have just a photo that's a little bit cropped uh, tighter and we can file save as because we don't want to erase the original we want to save a new copy and we're gonna call this model 3 and I'm gonna save it as a PNG because I don't want that background layer I just want the model so I'm going to save that as a PNG and that's it that's all you need to do those are just some basic cropping and photo retouching techniques that I hope you find uh, useful if you have any comments or questions of course feel free to leave a comment Thank you so much for watching. In the next part, I'm going to show you how to create a green screen background, which is sometimes used in combination with a overlay file. So I hope to see you in part three and good luck.